And welcome back. Uh, this is episode 11.2, <laughs> yeah, recapping the 7.30 games uh, from week 10. Uh, and Brent, would you take it away for a minute, please? I would love to take it away. The first game of the 7.30 hour was kick-ass versus foul balls. So, uh, 9 to nothing, kick-ass, foul balls. Uh, when you get ready, why don't you tell uh, us what happened? A friggin' slobber knocker is what it looks like. Mark. Well, Mr. Wilbert, Mr. Wentworth, <laughs> I was there for the slobber knocker, mm -hmm. as well as our cameraman, Mr. Pena. Um, and it was sloppy. It started out pretty sloppy. Uh, Mr. Manny Anderson, the wheels coming for home, and then just ass to mud, feet out of nowhere, Charlie Brown style, about 10 feet from the plate. Uh, the foul balls catcher, that good-looking Mr. Pena fella, had him dead to rights, but if there's one thing you need to know about Mr. Manny Anderson, he is sneaky sneaky. Very you say, you say ass to mouth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they did the human, well, it looked like a human centipede as Manny ran home and Derek and Robbins is right on him. Uh, yeah. The, the ball is wet. We'll, uh, we'll stick with that. Um, so then, uh, I don't know, what else is there to say about 9 nothing? Um, how, did it, how did it feel? Uh, have you uh, rubbed it in? You know, against your former teammates? A rub what in? The victory, you know? Yeah. You know, the only rubbing in I did was pitching two scoreless innings. Oh! A little had, I, was that a little icing on the cake for you? Not only beating your former team 9 to nothing, but to come out there and display the can arm that you've been hiding all season. I have been hiding it. I've been honing my skill in the minors. And now I've just decided to bring it to the big stage, and I thought there was no better place uh, than facing the foul balls uh, with a chance to lock up the number one seed for my new team, Kick-Ass. Uh, you know, what can I say? It hasn't already been said that it felt great. You know, I feel like a man again. I have gotten my manhood back now that I have this plush dog and this plastic WWE belt. Well, I tell you, congratulations. Uh for winning the number one seed. Uh, congratulations, Kick-Ass. Uh, yeah, you guys have had a one awesome more. season so far. So, yeah. Yeah, A culmination of Coach Manny's hard work and dedication to assemble this team, to prominence that he had predicted three seasons ago. So, excellent job to you guys. That's yeah. off to you. He predicted I would be on the team three years ago. <laughs> and that would be the rise to prominence. It was the missing, the missing piece. <laughs> he set things in motion three years ago. That we never could have imagined. But well, then, I'll tell you what, though, you got two more weeks, and this whole regular season is reset. Mm -hmm. Oh and yeah, you, you're not you're not undefeated anymore. Doesn't mean a thing. Mm -hmm. if you ain't got that ring, right, Brian Pena in Miami Heat? Yeah, tell that to the Spurs. They've got rings. Fuck, but not lots of this year. Miami's got a ring too. Oh, so oh, that so boy does. The referees right. helped out with that. <laughs> anyway, Dayton. Uh, you know, once again, all that needs to remain being said is... Fuck you, fellas! Well, hey, I, I heard, uh, Danger, didn't you go home with a member of the foul balls, though? So, I heard a whole jar of peanut butter was consumed. Yes. <laughs> so, who had the last laugh? Ha ha. Oh, <laughs> I'm loaded up on all sorts of nasty shit. <laughs> no, I'm passing around the foul balls. <laughs> oh, man. You're still licking the roof of your yeah, mouth. You're a dirty, dirty <laughs> bitch, Danger. A dirty oh. bitch. No, oh, I get all the dirty bitches. Oh, no. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Oh, okay, yeah. Red, 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 Red Rocket. Oh, hey, man, sorry. That's not, that's not I the first time. George guy's lap. <laughs> And that's not going to be the last time that two members from opposing teams and almost rivals are going to hook up. I mean, just something in the water here in the Waka Peninsula. It's true. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> let's go on to the second game. The Jaegernauts <laughs> defeated the Chubby Gangsters 8-5. Ah. Uh, you know, made us look like a bunch of schlubs. Another yeah. game where we looked like a bunch of schlubs. Yeah, one thing we underestimated, so here's what it comes down to, which we didn't factor into our, our line, 
is that this was Keith Moorhart's uh, birthday. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, me and uh, my teammate John Leneve, we went over and we were watching the Yeganauts Chubby Gangsters game for a while. And we were kind of standing there, we're looking over at the Chubby Gangsters sideline, and they were just pounding jello shots. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! It was like John was like, "Damn, they do not respect the Jaeger Knights." <laughs> like, they're just or getting, their livers. He's like, "They're just getting fucked up." And I don't know. Uh, I'd imagine that probably had a little bit to do with the outcome. Uh, so I don't think the Chevy Gangsters played uh, quite as well as they're yeah. they're capable of. Uh, Jaeger Knights, to their credit, you know they really, um, you know they really bounced back after that six thirty loss to JKI. Uh, Kyle Wright um, had a big kick to left field uh, that drove it was a triple that drove in two or three runs and uh, Sarah from uh, their team she had a big kick too that drove in a couple runs so offense yeah. was, offense exploded Sarah with like a two R two RKIs that game so good for her. Uh, you know, you know, Jaegernauts came in pissed off at this 7:30 game. Uh, I had a chance to talk to Keith and Jeff over there at the bar, and, and they were filling me in. It was like, you know, we didn't have the first baseman, we didn't have this, we didn't have this, but you had a lot of Jello shots. I mean, a <laughs> lot of Jello shots. So you know, it, sometimes you sacrifice the game for the better of the cause, which was Deputy uh, Commissioner Morehart's birthday. So. You know, hats off to him. The he, dog, did, he did say on Facebook that he had an awesome birthday. So yeah. that's what's really important. So Absolutely. Happy birthday, Keith, man. Glad you had a good time. And he was so excited to take shots with Rumspringer and Yeager. He was like, Yo, I've been waiting for this moment forever to take shots with Rumspringer. Could be foreshadowing of next season. So look for uh, <laughs> a little bit of free agency there if we uh, play our cards right. Waiting for this moment. There's nothing I like to do. Like, it's it's a, like, like there's never any opportunities to do shots with one Well, that's true. Other but, than every fucking Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> but you know my love for brown nosing commissioners of the Waka League. So, but it is a skill that you need uh, mm -hmm. in order to do well. At this well I know something about putting my nose on the commissioner <laughs> in some bad places. <laughs> hey, you got sure. How else are you gonna know if I'm a male or a female? You gotta sniff around. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy! And speaking of sniffing around, sniffing right. around for some wins, the Battle Star. They back, baby. Mister, board. Did we hear about it too? Yeah, they're right. back. Oh man, oh, they're fired up. Uh, they felt like uh, the three up, three down crew wasn't giving them much respect. We don't respect anyone. I don't respect a one-win team. I'll just lay it out there. We don't respect anyone, least of all ourselves. Yeah, exactly. I don't respect myself, <laughs> my own team. George wants to come out there and label me the worst pitcher in the league, which we will get to here in the 830 games. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to root for you, George. <laughs> come on, no respect for you and your team at one win. No, they, they did well. J JKI is a hot team. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a big win over Freeborn, big win over the Agronauts. Uh, Battle Stars right there and uh, you know comparable to those teams. So they're looking to open it up to a three-game winning streak, but Battle Stars said, nope. Um, Low scoring game. I know I didn't hear a lot about it other than it was uh, tough for both teams to really get their offenses going, but Battlestar did just a little bit more to take care of it, so good win. Do you think Battlestar can ride this momentum into the tournament? Absolutely. Absolutely. If there's well, a good question, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw the ball sacks and I got interested. Yeah. You know, there's going to be some teams now that are going to uh, put their tail between their legs when they're going to be looking at Battlestar. Because mm -hmm. you got a little uh, mojo going on here towards the end of the season. That's exactly what you need. Weeks one through four, eh, whatever, man. But when you get to these later weeks of the season, to ride that momentum into the tournament, that's exactly what you need. You want to be peaking now. The regular season is just the preseason. The real shit ain't started yet. Heard that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get laid twice a night in the playoffs. There's only one night in the playoffs, Danger. No, that's all right, buddy. Uh, we'll get back to you with the 8:30 games after this.